And this is Carr getting a little jumpy on the start there, getting a little out of shape. Rich Trafford there had the opportunity to put the hammer on him, but played it safe. Slammed on the brakes a little bit, and no crashing so far in the first lap. Looking good. Out front, Parson and Root. Bottle line less than half a second apart. Only four tenths. Parson with a slide bottle through the six pack. Root on the back door. He's coming for him. He wants this win really bad. He suggested ten minutes because I think he might be thinking Steven's car is going to blow up after nine and a half, but. Seven and ten minutes at the Surf City race without any issue. So we should be able to do ten minutes here without any issue. Coming onto the straightaway and Steven pulling out a couple feet on Frank. Frank's car all kinds of violent on the straightaway. 16-8 to a 17-2. Both very fast laps. McMoney in the number three spot. Oscar in the four spot. Olsen in the five spot. Looks like Monaghan in the six. And Mitch in the seven spot. This is, once again, a 10-minute main event for the Expert Age Scales. It was upon request, and since we were finishing up on a pretty good time, I allowed that to happen. Normally, we wouldn't go 10 minutes, but since we had some extra time tonight, we're going to go ahead and run with it. McMoney and Painter doing battle, but McMoney gets sideways, stuck on a pipe, gets back over eventually. But going to drop back behind Painter a little bit. Just like Root has dropped back behind Hartson a little bit. We'll see if Frank can find a little bit more punch in that buggy to try and catch back up to Steven. Steven looks to be a little bit smoother. Frank's car, though, looks to be a lot a bit faster. Two minutes down and eight minutes still left to go. Frank's car kind of dying mid-corner on that last 180. Not sure what happened there. It slowed down a little bit. Hartson by the line, 16-8. Frank last time by 16-7. That's fast lap of the race. That time by 18-1. Would have been another 16 if it had rotated quite a little more correctly on that one corner on the last lap to this one. Into the S section. Root in the low C, In the 2. Hartson in the Associated. In the 1 with Painter. In the Associated. Running in the 3. McMoney in the Mugen. In the 4. Olsen the Associated car. Monaghan the off in the car and Mitch the Losey car. Painter rolling it over. Mike all over the back now. Looks to the inside. And rolls it on top of Oscar's car. Caution on the straight. Caution on the straight. Something going horribly wrong with Mike McMahon's car. Getting all stutter bumpy. Yeah, something died in there. And back to the drawing board for McMahon. Three down and seven minutes to go. Hartson trying to run away from Root. Root just staying close enough to be dangerous right now. Hartson getting through traffic. He got around Monahan and Mitch so far. Frank is going to have to do the same thing in the next couple corners as he pulls up on Monaghan. 17-1 out of Frank, but a 16-7 out of Hartson. About 6.15 left to go in this race. But this is about a full seven-minute main event left to go. Steven Hartson fastest on the track, 16.6. Frank with a 16.7. Gonna have the second fastest lap of the race. Frank through traffic and back on his racing line. He's about one straightaway behind Stephen Hartson or about one six pack distance behind Stephen Hartson, if you'd like to put it that way. Four minutes down, six minutes left to go. Hartson 17 0. Frank 16 9. Hartson 16 7. Frank 17 0. So just trading off 16s and 17s. Between the top two, Olsen, you will have second place with you, and continue on your way. Catch them if you can, I guess. 5.30 left on the clock. Hartson, 16-7, back up with a 16-7. Frank, 17-0, back up with a 16-8. So even if Frank keeps doing those kind of laps, if Hartson keeps doing those laps, it's going to be some next level stuff out of these guys. We're going to have to go back and look at the race results from the Surf City race. And see if they went faster than Jeremy Quartz did all the way back on August 29th. 
That was the first real race on this layout. And Sunday will be the last real race on this layout. We will be tearing up the track Sunday night. And we will be closed on Monday for a track build. We will have Joey Christensen from the dirt building the track for us. He's going to be out here with his boys getting down on the tractor. We'll see what kind of crazy layout he can come up with. I'll babysit him, though. Make sure it's not too uh, Nitro 8 scale like. Joey's still working on building 10 scale tracks. Right now, Fat. Whoa. Mitch, I don't know how you did a 15 0, but you did one. You know what's funny, Mitch? If you had gone any faster than that, it would have not counted that lap. You have a very good internal stopwatch, I guess. Hartson, still out front. Both drivers are looking at 37 laps currently with 345 left to go. Hartson is at the end of the six pack as Root enters the six pack. Frank right behind Oscar right now. It was one lap ago on that exact corner. That Hartson went around Oscar there. Sounded like I heard a little funny sound coming out of the professor's car. Yeah, Oscar, I'd pull it. It's not, I don't know what that is. Doesn't sound good. Well, hey, Oscar, you would have done, eh, you would have done 24 laps in 7 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that was 7 minutes and you did, well, you might have got by for 25. I'm not, I didn't really look exactly. Is that spur gear? Is that spur gear? Yeah. Sounds like it. Two or three left to go for Hartson. We'll see if that associated car keeps the power up. We saw it kept the power up in the main at the Surf City race. However, Ryan Mayfield's car with the exact same setup in it didn't last the full 10 minutes. He dumped on the last lap, allowing Ryan Cavallari to take the third spot away from him. Just about two more minutes left in this race. It is still Team Associated Factory Driver Stephen Hartson out front with Team Rossi Factory Pilot Frank Root in the number two spot. Hartson, a rough one, a 17 8, allows Root to make up almost a full second. Actually, over a second, 1.2. Frank comes by with the fastest lap he turned all race, 16.6. 1.45 left on the clock. Driver, with a minute 45 to go. Nine minutes down, one minute left, and Frank still pretty close to Steven. If there's something crazy going on with Steven, he will be able to catch back up. 50 seconds left on the clock. They're both looking to do 37 laps here in 10 minutes. Thirty-five seconds left. Hartson, 16-9. Frank, 16-7. But it's going to be too little, too late. Hartson getting all kinds of squirrely rolling over. Oh, Hartson getting caught in traffic. If Frank was any closer, he would have been able to catch him. Fifteen seconds left. This is going to be their last laps. Ten seconds left to go for Steven and Frank. Actually, they're both going to get by for one more, I believe. Three, two, 
Run, Frank! You got caught! 36 10 flat with a zero! Mitch, you are done 32. Monahan, 33 laps. Olsen gonna do 34 laps. Hartson gonna do 37 laps. Olsen gonna do 35. And that is a race. Steven Hartson taking the win. 37 laps in a 10-13.